subscribe. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Little Grit Garage. In today's episode, we're going to be testing out my brand new KTM. It's a 2019 KTM 85 SX two-stroke. Uh, it's my first ever two-stroke I've ever had, so we're going to be testing it out today. I've only ridden it like twice. I've had it for a while, um, but it's $23 for one gallon two-stroke, so we're been going a little slow on it. Uh, it doesn't have any graphics, but I love the way it looks. It's all three of my favorite colors, white, orange, and black, which are literally my favorite colors. Um, pretty much starts up, starts up first kick every time, and it's an SX, which I believe SX is like the race kind, because I wasn't going to get it originally, but then my dad looked it up, and apparently SX is like more power or something, so this has 23 horsepower, and it is insanely light, it has a 6 speed, and it can do wheelies in pretty much every year. Um, so I'm going to get you guys up close, we're going to take a good look at this thing, see if it'll fire up, I'm going to put my gear on, and then we're going to go rip this thing. So here it is, KTM, um, very nice, I don't know what exhaust it has, it, there's just no labeling on it, but it sounds nice. It has black rims, which I really like, nice chrome back uh, pressure pipe or whatever, uh, adjustable front forks, adjustable rear suspension, again it's only 85cc, but one it's a two stroke, then it's an SX, and it just rips. Um, I really like it. It obviously has a radiator, which I've never checked that, but should be fine. It has disc brakes, front and rear. Oh, um, I've never actually tested the top speed of this. I have no idea what it could be. Um, so we're probably going to test that out today. Um, and it actually is bigger than my 100. So right there is my XR100R, one of my favorite dirt bikes. And this is quite a bit bigger, I'd say by like three six inches bigger which is a pretty big difference so i can't just sit on it yet so i kind of have to prop it against something to fire it up and then take off um but again i have no complaints about it, it has an awesome styrofoam seat it has a hydraulic clutch which is really nice it's just right there you don't have to wait for it to engage or anything really nice kill switch uh, again hydraulic front brakes a little squeaky the lever uh hydraulic rear and then it's really easy to start it always fires right up it has like a 24 or 26 on it i believe millimeter carb now that i've showed you guys the bike we're gonna see if it'll fire up really quick and then let it idle and warm up throw our gear on we're gonna go rip this thing around one thing i didn't mention about it is obviously it just has normal throttle cable but it's really smooth another thing i love about two strokes is they're very responsive four strokes like to bog and stuff um, and again, I'm very short, so I'm using my golf cart as a footrest so I can kickstart it without tipping over. Um, so we're going to try no choke. Fuel is on. This is how I always start it. I slowly kick it twice to prime it, and then I just... Obviously at this bike, you should always wear gear, but especially at this one, I'm gonna wear all my stuff. Especially chest plate, so I'm probably gonna loop it. But we're gonna head to the forest and see how this thing can jump.
just got done ripping around. What do you think, Mom? The thing sure scoots. <laughs> oh, yeah. Very fast. It looks fast. like you have a lot of fun, though, so that's yeah. all that matters. Which one do you think is more dangerous? This one or the 100? This one definitely looks faster, seems faster, but the other one, when you're wheeling that, you always look like you're just going to, like, flip yeah, backwards. Yeah, this one... So that scares me the most. But... With two strokes, you can't really get them, like, up, because then you hit the power band and you just go back. Yeah. And look how tiny this little engine is. That's my hand. And that thing was just ripping. Which one do you like better? I don't know. Like, I really don't know. Because, again, four strokes are more for cruising. Two strokes are definitely more for racing around. I feel so like I'm going to have to go with this one. Them? Really? Yeah, I okay. think KTM is one of my new favorite brands. Just because... I don't know. I've never had any issues with it or anything. I think it's a really good bike for you and just hope that you're careful. Yep. Well guys, again, I'm still getting used to this thing, but this thing absolutely rips. I still had either one or two gears to go when I was going top speed. We literally just don't have enough room here. Um, I probably shouldn't be going that fast anyways, but I it can't jump. Like, it can jump, but there's something with the fuel. The second I get in the air, it just bogs and I can't get in the power band. So it's not really a jumping kind of dirt bike, but it is so much fun to just drift around and wheelie and do top speed runs. Um, there's just a thrill with two strokes that I love. Um, I don't know which one I like more. Uh, two strokes are more of, I think, competition bikes. If you're looking for a starter bike to just cruise and get used to, I would thousand percent recommend a four stroke. But if you're looking for something to do a lot of wheelies and burnouts and stuff, one of these is what you need probably because they have insane power. And again, once you get into that power band, so much power. Um, but so far I really like it. It's getting really hot out and I'm getting really sweaty, so we're probably gonna take a break. Um, but comment down below what you guys think I should do with this. I know it's a pretty short video, just wanted to kind of show you guys um, what I think about two strokes and my new bike. Um, comment down below what you think we should do with this or other projects on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Get some.